Hello everyone and welcome back to something something dark side. Um fly off throughs and some finaling of the fantasies. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Probably. Um I don't I don't even. Um seriously, I can't get first hit in on the fucking egg. The egg that doesn't do anything but sit there. Wow, and I felt the need to drop gold to distract it. It's an egg. It is a fucking egg. Okay, yeah, this is the right way. Um, I don't know what I'm even supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah, I gotta go fight. You know, Mr. Shows his legs to sad people. Alright, cool beans. Hello there. With your silly dwarven face. Oh, look, he would have healed us. Oh, HP and MP. Fantastic. Fantastic. You, sir, are a scholar and a gentleman. Until you show your leg to me. Then you're creepy. Um, what does this do? Okay, that's probably throw. What does that do? I don't know. Let's find out. Holy shit. Seriously? Seriously, you just fucking killed Rosa in one hit. Um, it occurs to me that I'm in deep shit. Just, just this feeling that I have. Alright, Phoenix down. God, I thought I was appropriately leveled for the area. Kane, Kane, you're not my only hope, but, um, I, I, I've got hopes for you. Just, just, uh, wow. Wow. I'm doomed. There's no way I can win this. Oh god, don't kill her. Okay, thank god. Um. You know what? Everybody else can go to hell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up Rosa. Or not! Maybe Rosa will just be dead again! Shit! Um... I've got to have some spell that's... that stop. I've got to have some spell that's good for him. And by good for him, I mean good for me. Let's try that one. I don't know what that is. Oh, good! That is good for me. That is wonderful for me. What does that do? I'm pretty sure I've already found out what that does, but I'm going to try it again anyway. Oh, I think I just stole a potion off of him. So that's what that does. Um, Cecil. Oh, Cecil. Is that white magic? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you heal everyone. Rosa's going to have to just be dead for a while. You do whatever it is you did last time. You. Yeah, fuck it. Bring Rosa back to life. You jump. Jump. No! Oh, thank God. Whew. Mildly worried there. You keep doing whatever the hell that is. Um. You just fucking attack. I don't, I don't even know what else to have you do. Um. No. Yeah, just fucking Kiraga yourself. Please at least get the spell off this time. I would really appreciate it. Okay, good. That hit everyone. Seriously, Kane? You missed? You sad sack of shit. Seriously, Rydia. Rydia is the one that is doing the best in this fight. I am so fucking disappointed in all of you. Why does he keep attacking Rosa? What did she do to you? You mean evil bastard. Kane, jump again. Alright. Poor fucking Rosa. She's never done nothing to nobody. 
And he's just gonna keep attacking her like a tremendous douche. Wow, that did next to no damage. That did slightly more. Seriously, Riddy is the one that's coming out the strongest in this entire fucking fight, and that's that's really sad. Seriously? Stop hitting Rosa! God damn it, yo! Leave her alone! She just wants to be friends! I, I don't know. She probably doesn't. But now I'm seriously burning the MPs for the good healings. Oh, look, of course he's now at full. Bastard. Yay, everybody's back at full. Take that! How you like them apples, Mr. I show my legs to sad people? God damn it, stop hitting them. I'm gonna keep fucking casting this shit on you because it hurts you. And that is that is what I strive to do in life, is hurt you. Because I'm a horrible person. Are you dead yet? Fucking A, yo! You know what? Rose is just going to sit here and spend all of her time healing. I probably didn't need to use Kiraja. But anyway, that's what she's going to do. He's going to attack you. Maybe he'll actually get a decent hit in this time. Watch me hold my breath. Nope! Come on, guys! Seriously? This is how shitty you're doing? I am so fucking disappoint. So disappointing you. I mean, I know some of you are going, why don't you just cast ice on him or summon Shiva? Because that only works when his coat is open. When his coat is closed, that just kind of heals him. And I would rather, you know, just sit here and slowly whittle him down than give him any kind of healing. So, that's where I'm at. No! Stop! What did she do to you? Why do you hate her? I mean, seriously. Come on, man. Stop being a douchebag. I mean, weren't you... Do you remember back when you were a scholar and a gentleman? Can we go back to that? Is that a Suna or Raze? I think that's a Suna. Um, I'll just go ahead and have him cure everyone. Um, yeah, seriously, let's go back to that. That, those were good times. Those were good times. Let's go back to you being cool. No, hold on, let me high potion a bitch. Yeah, that couldn't have, you know, killed him and made life easier on me. No. That would be too fucking useful. Alright, hit him. Alright, come on, Rosa. You have to get this spell off. Your life depends on it. Oh, crap. I should have had her concentrate on healing herself. Oh, well. See, my strategy for boss battles are bad. <laughs> I has the bad strategies. The bad strategies. The badages. Good God, is this thing still up and alive? Is this an- Don't hit Rosa again. No, my beautiful butt- Oh, he'll actually get all of that back whenever he attacks. Ha! My beautiful butterfly is impervious to your ridiculous leg magic. Oh, good, you're dead. Well, that makes my life easier. It's about fucking time. Oh. Yay. We fought creepy mans. And got a bunch of monies. So that's cool. Be significantly cooler if, uh... He died a lot faster. Did we actually kill him or did he just, you know, Fuck you, I disappear in flame again. Because he's done that before. Um... WTF? Oh, I think... I think those are, um, I don't know, people related to the fact that, you know, Edge is a prince. Um, 
my question, how did the old man and the three nipple heads just fucking tiptoe through the dungeon unscathed when I couldn't walk more than two steps without running into a random battle that was doing a pretty good job of kicking my ass? Are they fucking invincible or do they have the Moogle charm? That's it. That's it right there. They have the goddamn Moogle charm so they don't have to worry about random encounters. Fuckers, they stole it from me. They stole it from the available items that I could get. This is entirely what happened. Only logical explanation. Oh, look, a crystal room. Oh, look, it's a trap. There's a big fucking surprise. Oh, look, a treasure chest. Hey, sexy. Oh, is this the room where I couldn't get to the other side? Because I might, like, not be as annoyed now. It might be. Neat. Seven. So I'm going up in the tower? I fell through a trap door and now I'm going up. Is that it? Because my sense of direction says that shouldn't work that way because I fell down. Well, I guess if I fell down to a lower floor, I could still climb up. Come on, you fuckers, run away! There we go. Oh no, I lost monies. Wah! Okay, no, I am going down. Alright. Son of a bitch! Yeah, you remember the part where he said, you know, we fucking can't get two steps without running into a random... Literally! Literally! You know what? Fuck you guys. Surprise round. I run away. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, seriously, I can't get fucking more than a handful of steps without running into a random battle. Douchebag McStupid Cowl and his band of dickheads can you know, just walk through the dungeon like it ain't no thing. Like they fucking walk through dungeons every day and never get into random battles. Jackoffs. They're doing it on purpose. They're absolutely doing it on purpose to make me look foolish. Only logical explanation. Seriously, is that all I'm getting is a bunch of fucking shitty-ass high potions? I mean, all of these, all of these things I'm opening, yes. Fucking, yeah, that's it. High potions. That's it. You're down the most. You take a regular potion. Because you suck and nobody loves you. Son of a fucking whore, bitch cock. You know what? I don't even have time for your dickassery. That one thing was a fucking mithril golem. Probably. I saw me, so I assume. Oh my god. My kingdom for a Moogle charm. I'm not even kidding. Hooray, maybe it's the way out. Holy shit, it really is the way out. Or the way to the... Okay, I guess he's with us now. Does he even know how to fly that thing? He knows how to dance, so I mean, he's got that going for him at least. Alright, that's probably not good. I'm going to assume he hit the wrong button. Did we destroy the tower? No, apparently the um, airship just fucking appeared as if from nowhere. Well, that's handy. Um, seriously, I can't fly over lava? That's the most useless airship ever. Here's an airship that we just pulled out of our ass. Oh, look, you can't fly over lava. Wow. That's... That's just poopy. Alright, there's an inn, but rather than go to the inn and stick with me here, I'm gonna tent, because tents are like 100 gold or something, and the inn's like 5,000. And I'm cheap. I am a cheap bitch. Yay. But no, seriously. The whole point of an airship is so you can fly over bodies of water. Or in this case, bodies of molten rock. But still, what the fuck? It's not even right. And now we're back in dwarfy land. Where the dwarfy dwarfs live. You know, they lead their dwarfy dwarven lives. Without their faces! I guess, you know, Creepy Legman was a dwarf. Only logical explanation. 
But that is our time, so I'm going to call it here and, you know, epic boss battle that took up the entire episode. And I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.